Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today I will read from a book titled La Architettura di Milano, edited by Marco Biraghi and Adriana Granato with photographs by Sosten Hennekam and published by Hebley. Milan is an open-air museum of modern and contemporary architecture, a city that over the last 70 years has been written and signed by many highly acclaimed Italian and international architects. 150 eminent scholars and renowned architects have been asked to describe and reinterpret 150 of the finest examples of this three-dimensional composition. Jonathan Sergison wrote The residential and office complex on Corso Italia by Luigi Moretti, completed in 1956, is an exceptional project even by the standards of the great buildings that were realized in Milan during the 1950s and 1960s. While the majority of these explore clear urban ideas and inventive, highly particular facade expression, Moretti's building adopts a more radical concept and, as is often the case, combines a highly sculptural language with structural mastery. Adam Caruso wrote at the eastern end of Via Lanzone, the dense city center opens up to the garden of an older freestanding villa, which in turn gives directly onto the monumental complex of the Università Cattolica. Via Lanzone 4 by Asnago Vender echoes the volume and figural windows of its palazzo neighbors, substituting a brilliant and brittle white facing of marble slabs for the ochre and Tuscan red earth tones of the older buildings. Robert MacArthur wrote Bocconi University's main building by Grafton Architects, completed in 2008, is remarkable in accommodating an enormous program of spaces on a site strictly limited in footprint and height, while simultaneously opening the university to the city at the ground floor. Daniel Scherer wrote Situated on a diagonal axis in relation to Via Paolo Giovio, this church is nestled in a quiet piazzetta generated by the insertion of its layered facade into the dense urban texture of the west side of Milan. A structure whose screen-like surfaces anticipate the Cathedral of Taranto and the Church of San Carlo Borromeo, this project occupies a unique position both within Ponti's output and the urban configuration of the Lombard capital. Lea Katrin Schatzka wrote Built between 1978 and 1981 by Vico Magistretti and Francesco Soro, the Faculty of Biology complex at the State University of Milan offers a clear separation of functions between research and pedagogy, with highly flexible spaces for the research areas in order to satisfy any new diverse future requirements. The complex is composed of three towers hosting the research laboratories and departments and disposed in a semicircle around the entrance area. Kirsten Gears wrote Herzog and de Moron's Feltrinelli Porta Volta project is one of those rare occasions when something entirely autonomous manages to fit its context seamlessly. Pier Vittorio Aureli wrote the Monte Amiata complex has been interpreted as a synecdoche of Italian architecture of the 1970s. Its powerful forms have made it into a monument of a tradition that has produced many flowers but little fruit. The Gallaratese has thus become a polemical figure of speech, utilized for opposing but ironically complementary ends, to celebrate a glorious moment of architecture in Italy and to condemn the ambitions of disciplinary autonomy.
ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.